everyone and welcome to the CM Koseman channel. I was just driving along in this particular area of Istanbul when I saw this tower, this foreclosed monster of a structure, slated for demolition due to tsunami and earthquake risks. So I just had to park and take a look inside. So why don't you join me in this incredible expedition to this once opulent and extremely luxurious apartment. So this big building is typical of the structures built in this region between the 1980s and the 1990s. There was a construction boom in the area and a lot of these buildings, despite being very expensive, were actually built with really poor materials and concrete. Yeah, just drink in the elevator shaft ambience. Just take it. This is what most of these houses look like. Just ruined cupboards, walls and just debris all over the place. But as we go deeper inside, there are little secrets and mysteries lurking all over the place. Like these boards covered with old newspaper that date this house to at least 1991. Get the new Volvo and drive away. Oh my god, what do we have here? Looks like a nice place to sit, chill out, and have a party. What's that? Herbs? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the ground was littered with every odd object left in the house. Bottles, shoes, buttons, keys, whatever. Looks like people still came here and chilled out and wiped from time to time. Whoa. Check out this really cool briefcase. I was really tempted to take it, but I rarely take objects from such trips just because they're just so tainted with memories of past lives. Just look at this cool marble inlay on the floor. Once really expensive, now just in ruins. A view from the kitchen. And this room was just bizarre. It was full of legacy electronic media, cassettes, diskettes. Check this out. MIDI, savages, useful. Not anymore. An 8-track cassette of country music. Country. A VHS tape. Another HD diskette bookmarks lots of lots of legacy media just incredible they even had Betamax tapes which were smaller than VHS this one had ABBA music recorded in it harping this was a box for one of those weird video intercoms for apartment entrances and yeah just loads of legacy media and computer stuff looks like this was the quote-unquote computer room back in the day some vintage computer game brochures a magazine advertising windows 95 This room was really the jackpot and it filled me with so much nostalgia. This other room had lots of these boards covered with old newspapers still displaying old comics. This is a local comic, Bizimkiler, news from local celebrities. 
I found my ideal weight, this lady says, whoever she is, and complains about rising prices and inflation. Teletext, get it for your TV. Now this is just the second floor. Let's climb a bit higher. These are the sample holes taken by engineers and according to their assessment of the samples they decided that boom the apartment could not withstand an earthquake so we get all this demolition all this ruin and this great chance for urban expedition Another kitchen. This one has these cute tiles with patterns of flowers and pots and stuff. Really cute and homely. If you grew up in Turkey during the 1980s, you will remember these. This room was littered with photographs really poignant and touching probably from the 1990s judging from the look of it they really must have liked this plant and now god knows where it is really sad when you think about it i mean the earthquake may strike in the future we don't really know it probably will but is it really worth all this destruction, especially in this time of economic uncertainty? I always think about it when these urban renewal, earthquake demolition stuff pops up. Speaking of popping up, somebody had a fresh meal here. I kind of beat a hasty retreat in case they come back, climbing up, up, up and away. Yeah, more of the same. I mean, when you've seen one of these demolished rich houses, you kind of seen them all. But still there are little interesting details every now and then. Uh. An amazing view. Instead of going to the other house from the stairway, I just did this flip movement from the common balcony ha. yeah don't don't attempt this at home kids the best laid plans of mice and men the ultimate reward at the top floor came from this incredible view of the sea of marmara that's the sea near Istanbul if you don't know about this part of the world and the outlying islands probably the only time and the only way I'll be able to set foot in such a luxurious apartment An art print by Turkish Impressionist painter Ergument Kalmuk. And this kitchen was the saddest of them all. The people still had left water, spices and certain other food items around. Okay, I took this herbal tea for good luck and then leaving behind the shattered dreams of these uh, once rich apartments what an experience everybody what an experience i made my way back out 
I mean, as far as urban expeditions go, this wasn't the most interesting or extraordinary adventure. But I hope you still enjoyed coming along with me to catch glimpses of the lives of others in this improvised adventure in central Istanbul. Thank you all for watching, and I love you all. As you can probably understand from my cavalier use of copyrighted music, this channel is not monetized. But if you like my efforts, if you like my expeditions, you can still support me on patreon.com or buymeacoffee.com. The links are in the video description. So consider that as well. The fire witch to the court of the crimson.